Boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to create a graph using the Excel program. It's a Microsoft program. It's Microsoft Excel. And it will look something like this when you start. So I'm going to suggest that you put your data in a row like this. I'm going to show you really briefly what it looks like on another page, and then I'm going to copy it onto my page. You are obviously not going to have data for September since we recorded our weather data in October. And you're not going to have this data because this data was from last year. So you are going to take the data that you have, but you are going to put it into this program, which is called a spreadsheet program. You're going to put it like so. So you're going to have the date. Uh, and you're going to have the temperature, or if you're doing the amount of rainfall, you'll have the number of millimeters. So you're just going to put the number, nothing else. You don't need to put millimeters or degrees Celsius in this case or anything like that. But you're going to have the date in one box, and then right below that, you're going to have the temperature or the value that you want to be on the graph for that date. And then you'll have the next date and the value for that date and so on until you've got at least 10. So once you've done that, you are going to block out and select all of your values. You're going to go up here to, it might be on home when you start. You're going to make sure that you choose the insert tab at the top. You're going to go here where it says column and you are going to click on that and select this first one here with the bars. You want to go with the 2D bars. Now a graph has been created right here in your spreadsheet. I don't know what this is all about, this Series 1 thing, so I like to get rid of that right off the bat. So I just select it and then delete. Now I'm going to go up here to underneath Chart Tools, Layout. I select that tab, Layout. And then you go over here and you select a chart title. So you don't want none. You don't want the overlay title because that will put it right on top of your graph, but you want it above the chart. So you click above the chart, and then here where it says chart title, give your graph a title that accurately and succinctly or in a brief way describes what your graph is going to be about. I am going to select the title temperature in Kelowna in 2011 because these dates are from last year. So that's my title. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose axis titles. My primary horizontal axis is the one that goes along the bottom. And I'm going to choose title below axis. And it's right here now. So I'm going to call this simply date. That's title for that axis. It tells you that these are the dates that these values are for. I go back up here to axis titles. I'm going to choose the primary vertical axis title. I don't want none. I'm going to choose the rotated title because it'll make it sideways. And I kind of like the way that that looks when it's sideways. I don't want to move it. I actually am just trying to actually select the text in there so that I can give it a new uh, title. This is temperature graph. So I am going to write down temperature because that's what these numbers are. And it's the temperature in degrees Celsius. You can either write the word degrees, or you can go up here to insert, and then over here to symbol, and you can find the symbol for degrees. And it's this symbol right here. You might have to search a little bit. It might not be right at the top when you first uh, open it up. Mine is because I've used it before. Um, but you scroll down until you find this circle that's up above, and you select it and you insert it, and then you close this insert symbol window, and now it's got the degrees symbol, and it's going to be in degrees Celsius, so try to spell Celsius correctly, and there's my label for that. Now, this graph is finished. I can actually go up here, and I can file, save as, 
give it a name so that I can use this Excel spreadsheet document another time if I would like. I'm not going to do that right now because I already have. And now you've got it saved. You've got your data right there. You can do different things with it. You can choose different colors, things like that. I'm not going to get into that right now. But if I want to put this somewhere else to be able to print it out, I can copy this graph. And then I can go to a Word document. And I can paste the graph into the Word document in order to print it out more uh, conveniently. So here's my Word document. Just a second. I'm going to choose for the page layout to change the orientation. That's this one here. I don't want it to be up and down. I want it to be sideways or what we call landscape. So I'm going to change the orientation to landscape. And now I'm going to insert or paste, I should say, my already created graph right into this Word document by right-clicking and then selecting to paste my graph. So it'll take a moment. As you can see, the egg timer is showing me that the computer is working. It's going a little bit slow right now, probably because I'm recording this and uploading another video to YouTube as I'm recording it. So there's my graph. It's a little bit small, so I am going to go to the corner and drag it to make it a little bit bigger so that it'll fill up more of the page. And now I can print it out. It's got a title at the top that tells me what it's about. It's about temperature in Kelowna in 2011. It's got a title for this axis over here that tells me that these numbers are the temperature in degrees Celsius. It's got a label down here that tells me that these are the dates. It's got the dates, and then it's got the values represented by these bars. So this value is between 20 and 25. It's closer to 25, but not that close. So I'm going to say that that's 23. And that's the whole point of having a graph. You're able to visually see what information it's trying to communicate to you. Thank you for listening. And that's all for now.